Keep watching All Access. It's Breast Cancer Awareness Month and All Access for sure is making sure bringing that awareness from some of the survivors. I think it's important for people to hear from you and to understand the face because you may be motivating someone at home. How important is that part of the awareness for you? So for me, it is very important um, to get the story out there. And not just my story, but to let women know to get tested. Because when I look at my own story, um, when, it, when it pertains to my age, when it pertains to not too long having a child and breastfeeding, you know, all reasons why, oh no, I just breast breastfed, it's all fine and dandy, um, healthy. That is not the case and that was not the case with me. Right. Um, we see a trend where women are um, getting diagnosed younger and younger. I know right now of a, a lady living in the UK, 26, right. got diagnosed um, and she was pregnant at the time. 26, pregnant and diagnosed with breast cancer. So. It is definitely important to right. get the message out there. Do not take your health lightly. If you feel anything, if there's any concerns that you may have, get tested, get tested, get tested, get tested. And for those who are at home watching All Access TV and listening to you and seeing you, you look so beautiful mm -hmm. um, and need some sort of encouragement, what would you have to tell them? I would tell them that the journey is long, it's hard, it's painful, it's many days feeling sick, feeling, you know, um, in Dutch we say an algehele malaise, like you feel like your whole body just feels sick. And, you know, with the time frame of chemo, so I took chemo every week on Thursdays. So I would be sick from the Thursday straight to the Tuesday. Then I have the Wednesday feeling a little okay. And then Thursday again, I have to do that chemo again. Um, so I don't want to paint a picture that it is all nice and dandy and the, the, the difference you see in your body, it really makes you go through changes also mentally, but that doesn't stop the fact that, you know, um, to get tested, to be aware of, of what is happening and take precautionary measures for that. I have a cousin as well, and she's in St. Kitts. Um, mm -hmm. Actually, right now she's in Trinidad, and she's doing the radiation and so forth. And um, I always tell her about being positive, you mm -hmm. know, and how um, that could do, that could turn around illness, mm -hmm. you know, and prayer. How much um, is that um, something that you've used in your journey? It definitely is something that I used in my journey. I remember halfway through chemotherapy, I started to feel so sick. And I, I reached at a point where I thought, man, just yesterday, I was healthy. I didn't know I had cancer. I was healthy. I was well. I was living life, you know, not, you know, abusing anything, alcohol and those kind of things. And then the next day, I'm feeling a lump. And then the next day, I'm diagnosed. I'm saying next day, next day, but that, right. that's not how it happened in actuality. But just to give, you know, an idea. Right. And, man, you're sick. Right. Man, you're sick. And I remember in the middle having to find something that I wanted to live for. Okay. And that something was my daughter. Mm -hmm. You know, in the, in the midst of it, I said, oh, my husband is going to find somebody else. He could remarry. But my daughter, she's not going to have another mother. She might have another stepmother, but she wouldn't have another mother. And that was the turning point for How old me. is she? She's five years old oh. now. She just turned five in, um, in August. And at the time when I was diagnosed, she had just turned three. Yes, so she was three years old and I'm like, oh my gosh, if I die now, my child is not going to remember me. There'll be simply pictures. She won't have any tangible memories of me when she gets older. And so that was the turning point for me in that moment. Man, okay, yes, you're feeling down. Yes, um, you know, one minute you were healthy, next minute you're sick, your body is telling you it doesn't want this. But what is the reason? What is the reason you're doing this? And for me, it was definitely Amaya, my daughter. She is the reason that I'm here today. And she's the reason that I decided, you know, to go through with chemo because it's not a nice experience it really isn't and um 
you know, like I said, what it does to your body, it really mashes you up, not only physically, the changes that you see, um, but mentally, because your body says, I am tired, I am tired, I don't want to do this, what kind of poison are you putting into me, um, and your body literally just feels weak, so you have to make up in your mind, hey, what am I going to do, do I want to fight this, and if I'm going to fight it, what is the reason I'm fighting this for, you know, so right. definitely positive mindset is what is going to take you through nothing else because people will come people will tell you all kinds of things and they mean well Correct. and it is well to do that but if you as an individual don't make up your mind that hey i'm gonna go through this i'm gonna go through this with a smile yes there are gonna be down days yes there are gonna be days that i'm not feeling well and i had many of those days right. that i just lay in bed or sometimes just in in the living room on the rug just lay there right. But the moments that I did feel well, I got up, I threw, threw on a wig, right. put on some lipstick, yeah. and I was out. Where was I going? I don't know, right. but I was going because those were the moments I felt well, and I made use of those opportunities, you know? Awesome. Yeah. Your testimony, it, do you go around telling certain people? Have you actually used any platforms to actually speak about this outside of All Access? Well, um, there's supposed to be a, another interview coming out about me this month as well, um, but I haven't used much opportunity publicly to speak about it. But what I have done is in my network, um, people that are around me, women that are being diagnosed, you know, um, extend an arm and say, hey, I am here. I, I, I know what you're feeling. Um, though our diagnosis may slightly be different, I've right. gone through the process and I've stood through the process and um, if there's any way that I can help, I can be there. I will be there and also telling women just get tested, get tested, get tested. You're 25, get tested. The doctor will tell you no, but get tested. Wow. Yeah. And who did you go to? That's, that's one of my final questions. Who did you go to when you needed that, that, that air? Was it a foundation? Was it a person? Was it church? Who was that go-to for you? Yes, yeah, so that's that's a difficult question because um, I know a lot of family members wanted to be there for me. And um, one of the things that I say is you have to, when somebody is going through chemo, you have to, I know there is a, a need from our friends, our family, our significant other to want to be there in their way. But it's very important to, ask the individual how can i be there for you because my family wanted to come over they wanted to be there they wanted to just come and sit and be in the house and for right. me that was taking a lot of out of me because that meant okay maybe i had to go and put on a shirt or i had to you know make myself kind of spruce up to engage in conversations that I didn't want to engage in because literally all I wanted to do when I was feeling dumb was just lay right. with a bucket next to me, vomit when I need to vomit and right. get back up again. Um, so yeah, going to somebody, I don't know if I in, went to anyone in particular, right. but I know that um, I always kept an open line of communication like this is not taboo this is what I'm going through I let everybody know in my um, circle that hey I am diagnosed I was diagnosed and um, you know I'm starting treatment I sent out general messages hey treatment is starting now um, this is um, the report that I got this is what is happening so to say that you know I, I reached out to someone in particular no but because that's not what I needed correct you know, that's not what I needed. What I needed was to just be not left alone because you want a community, you want people there for you, but I didn't need the people around me constantly. Correct. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Wow. Um, yeah. But you can just look at the camera right now and send a message to anybody at home who needs to hear your message. Yes. So I would like to tell you, this month is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and um, October 31st will be the second year since I was diagnosed. So I was diagnosed two years ago. And, you know, I just want to tell you, if you're out there, you haven't been tested, you're 25, 26, whatever age you may be, I encourage you, next week, Saturday, there are free testings um, going on. Go have yourself tested. It's better to know than live not knowing and 
maybe be too late go out get tested and it's a journey and if you are tested positive there's a, a group of women that are here for you there's a group of women that have gone through this process and are willing to just sit by your bedside if that is what you need if you need just a listening ear we are here for you get tested it's serious